Welcome back. Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, mm. Stanley. All right, we're coming in with the power book that I've been waiting for. Yes, power yeah, me too. Four, Force. Episode one. Listen, why is it called Force? It should be called Tommy. Right. But we're just going <laughs> to go with it. And it's entitled A Short Fuse and a Long Memory. Yeah. Before we even get into this, y'all always ask about our graphic tees. Today, yeah, my, I am wearing I Am Not For Everybody. And I'm wearing the Beard Gang. So Just if you indeed. are interested, I ha we have a great relationship with Power in Black. So go ahead and hit that link below. If you use my code Lynette, L-Y-N-E-T-T-E, -E, you'll save 25% off your entire order. Yeah. We're going to plug in every video because every video somebody asks, where can I get that shirt? Did you design that shirt? Nope. Usually Power in Black is yep. who makes these shirts. Let's go ahead and get into this. Go ahead and forgive us beforehand because this is a whole new cast of people. Yeah, man. We got to learn all these yeah, we gotta names and how they move. And, but I would say that the first this first episode really started. It was good, but slow. it was real slow. But I do understand when you're going through character development, it goes move a little bit slow. So it's just... This episode, I feel like we were just being introduced to the new characters that's going to be... The new, um, the new city. Yeah, stuff yeah. like that, yeah. So we start off the episode and we see that Tommy is on a highway and we know that he's headed to L.A. But he starts to get flashbacks of all the skit that he dealt with when he was in New York. It kind of made me forget for a yeah. minute that Tommy done been through a he lot. He done been through a lot. He done killed a lot. Yep, you know, he lost, you know, Tasha shot Keisha, mm -hmm. Ghost died. Uh, he thought about Raina. The he, redhead. Yeah. So uh, yeah. To, he, when he was getting ready to kill Tariq. Mm -hmm. uh, so he was going through a lot of emotions. And you could see him just spiraling out of control. Yeah. So he started speeding up in the car. And I was and like, Tommy. Hit the lights. And cause, yeah, I'm like, Tommy. We ain't, we, we we ain't trying to commit suicide on episode one now. Nah. What the fuck is going on? So he ended up slamming on brakes and almost ran into the Chicago sign. But the moment he slid out of control, you see him just snap right up out of it. Yeah, the and crazy was Yeah, like, the crazy came back. And he took off and went to Chicago. I said, oh, this is going to be interesting. But when he got to Chicago, he pulled up to this house. And he was looking. And this dude came along and was like, you need to you pay, pay me, me to park here. And I was like, that don't look like a parking meter he was hit. <laughs> because he pulled up and then hit knocking over skit and stuff. I was like, that ain't like no parking meter. And this dude proceeds to pull out a knife on Tommy. And Tommy was like, you ain't trying to do that. He showed him his gun. And the dude was like, you know what? I would do something today but if, I but I, if I had my piece. But we were trying to figure out, what in the hell is this house? Who is this house? I'm like, mm -hmm. is, was it, did his, he grow up here? Yeah. Was it his grandma's house, his aunt house or something? But we couldn't figure it out. So before that guy left, um, he asked him, he said, the lady that used to stay here, um, is she dead or where she at? And he was like, she's at this, this, this Pretty place. Pretty much like a nursing home. Like a nursing home. Um, but he was looking like, hmm, that's odd. Yeah, because he thought she was dead. So he ended up at this, at this nursing home. And he walking through and he just saw this lady. But he never went up to this lady. So we just figured from this point, seeing it, that that was somebody that... That was his grandmother. I yeah, already figured it out. Yeah, that he was in relationship with. All right, so then we switch over, and we had a scene that we are at the prison, and this dude is cutting this old man's hair, and uh, he told the guard, you know, raise her up. I was and, like, wow. <laughs> that's a good way uh, of yeah. the communication. This yeah. is what's happening. This is what's not happening. The old dude basically was telling him that when you get out of here, I'll I don't want to see you back. I'll go out, be straight, cause seem like this dude got his life together. He cut in half, but I was kind of, I was kind of confused when he pulled out the razor. I was like, is he getting ready to cut old I man? I thought he was about to cut yeah. old man, cause old man was like, why are you taking so such, long, so long yeah. to cut my hair? And he was like, well, I need to make this cut last, you know, cause you know, I need to make it last in between the next time I'm gonna see you again. The old man was like, no, 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 yeah. you're not gonna see me again when you leave up out of here. I don't want to see you come back. But from that conversation, I said, this dude is institutionalized. Like, yeah. he already has it in his mind that at some point, he's going to come back yeah. and be able to see old man again. I was like, all day long this happens. Yeah. Every day of the week yep. it happens. See it all the time. So Tommy goes to this bar, and he meets this lady named Gloria, Gloria. that's really got an eye for Tommy. Right mm -hmm. out the gate, she just... 
I said, it's oh, cool. is he trying to do get his Keisha in Chicago? Come on now. Mm. Ain't going to be no another Keisha. No, nah, well, that's good. <laughs> so he asked her for some Jameson. And so she kept pouring him up, pouring him up Jameson. He was like, what's that smell? And she was like, it was some type of, she said it was some type of soup, pe pepper soup. Well, he was like, let me get some of that soup. She and like, she was like, the kitchen is closed. It's like, okay. I said, so, but he said, I'll have another one of the Jamesons. So he started talking to her. They building a relationship, but you can always tell right now that something was going to go down with them sexually. You can oh, just, yeah. you can just the feel air. the sexual tension in the air. You just didn't she know. she already read him. She was like, listen, I don't know what you're going through before 11 o'clock. You don't have two shots of Jameson. Uh, yep. Like, what's up? So Tommy is like, you know, what else are you good at reading? She said, I read people really well. I read signs. <laughs> I read this. And you're going through some skit. <laughs> <laughs> so now we see the dude that was cutting the old man's hair, which his name is Diamond, mm -hmm. is getting out of prison. And this this scene right here was crazy, you know, with it the guard. Good, the guard ended up giving him a gift, but before he gave him a gift, he was like, "These jays are sweet. And they go for a lot of money. I give you one fifty for them right now." He was like, "These jokes are worth way more than one fifty. So the guard gave him a gift and gave him a clipper set, man, so that you know, so he get out, he, he can have, he, he can still go on with his trade. That was a real good gesture what the guard did for him. So we see he was walking out, and we see this dude out there that we see now, and I think it's his the brother in a Lamborghini. I yeah, said, well, what did he do for a living? <laughs> oh, you already know. already know. <laughs> already know. So when he was coming out, the brother spotted that he had no shoes on. And he was like, well, they got you for your shoes, man? Hey. He, he gonna, like, he going to go in there and get the shoes. He was like, nah, that's good, man. So he ended up giving, giving the, God the God the Jays, man. I was like, that's dope. That's Say a good gesture for a good gesture. Yeah, man. man. I can dig it. Yes, indeed. So he's out there. He's appreciating the uh, the water that's on yeah. the ground. His brother was like, so that it don't snow? <laughs> and rain in there? And rain on that side <laughs> of the gate? He was like, no, it just feel different. And yeah. I was like, Key, please keep that close to the chest because we don't want to see you go back to jail. Yeah. But I just know it. I just know at some point, as much as he wants to do good, he already know he could be back or dead. Right. Tommy is still outside the bar, which, and he's sitting on the side of the car. He's smoking a cigarette, and these dudes pull up, and this dude riding the window down was like, I'm going to need you to get out of my parking spot. I was like, what is wrong with y'all in this city and parking? Yeah, it's... <laughs> And Tommy, you know, he don't give a fuck. Mm -mm. So he act like the dude didn't even say nothing. And the dude asked him again to move. He's like, oh, it's a problem. You didn't ask me again. And so the dude gets out the car like he want to do something. And, of course, that's right that's up Tommy opinion. Alley because Tommy don't give two bucks about anybody or anything. And so when he was getting ready to go at the dudes, this other dude gets out the car and tells this other dude, the dude, Just which we find out are the Flins, the Flins. and tells them, nah, this ain't, nah, this ain't what we doing. And so, Tommy, if you know what's best for you. Don't you, ruffle these fellas. Yeah, don't ruffle these fellas right here. And I'm like, bruh, you, you don't even know who one. you talking to. <laughs> That's like telling a kid, don't eat the candy on the yeah. table. It's like an invitation to touch the candy on the table. Yeah. So, the dude goes into the bar, and we see that he knows the girl, Gloria. I don't know if it's his girlfriend or. Somebody he trying to get back with. Yeah. They have a, they have a, yeah, they got something going on or had something going on. So immediately I said, okay, God doing the Tommy was just talking to this girl. This girl was all up in his grill. And now this is the same dude he just was beefing it with outside. So I know it's going to come a At time point. that them two jokers going to butt his somewhere in there. So the dude that broke up the fight between him and Tommy was like, I like your style. I love your restraint. But, uh, are What's you your name? Yeah. He said, I didn't catch your I, name. Tommy said, I, I ain't didn't throw it. <laughs> so he asked Tommy, was like, are you coming or are you going? And Tommy was like, I'm, I'm, I'm going. So he was like, you best to be going really, really soon, soon because you don't want the smoke that this family can bring. I was like, why are you telling the craziest person on earth that there's some smoke in the city? He wants it. Yeah, he's going to go to the smoke. That's like telling the weed head that the dispensary is around the corner. They're going to drive around there. They're going to drive around They're going to around there and get some, man. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, of, co of course, Tom ain't going nowhere. He goes back into the bar, and Gloria's like, you back? He was like, yeah, you told me that the bar is back open now. I'll come back to get that I soup. I'm going to get that soup. <laughs> yeah. <That> comfort food. <laughs> I like Steve. 
So she gives she gives him a menu, and he was like, "Oh, this look good." She was like, "That's just for aesthetics. I'm gonna give you what I want." I'm like, "Why the fuck you give him give him a what you call it?" Learning at its best. But the other Flynn guy had left and left this other dude and told him to watch, watch over her. over glory and i was like okay this is about to go south uh -huh. this dude's gonna see tommy talking to gloria he gonna tell this dude then this dude gonna come back but it did not play out that way mm -mm. so tommy waited patiently for this dude because this dude just highly this disrespected tom brady and disrespected larry bird <laughs> <laughs> But Tommy didn't care about Tom Brady. He cared more about Larry Never. Bird. So he followed him outside, whooped his tail, broke his arm, took his phone. <laughs> and act like the day was how it was. So he after he did that, he was getting ready to leave. But Gloria said, hey, your food is ready. And he was like, well, Brad, oh, okay. Time. He was like, any of this going to blow, blow back, back on, on you? you? Yeah. She said, oh, absolutely not. And I said, well, how is it not? Yeah. Like, oh, oh boy, not dead. So he gonna tell his brothers and his family exactly. that he was the one that did it. Obviously, y'all got something going on. So how is it not gonna blow back on you at some point? Well, Nick said, we know before I could even think straight. <laughs> we see Thomas White in the air. Uh -huh. And him and Gloria is, is getting it in. Like my brother used to say, <laughs> man, they in their bed fighting. <laughs> in their bed fighting. Oh, uh, we still trying to make sense of this scene where the Flynn sister went to this crazy psychedelic like magic, party. magic you know all these lights flashing but she ended up hooking up with this girl that had some kind of cocaine that i guess was new on the streets that and you glowed that in it the was dark. black it glowed yellow in the dark and so i got a feeling that this particular drug is going to be crazy and that's where the war is going to be over this drug because she even said she said i've never had, had that, that yeah. before where can i get more of it yeah so at this point i didn't really realize that Flynn, Flynn, Flynn. Yeah. So she's a sister. So, okay. Right. Now we're about to have a problem. Yeah. Big one. Now we see Tommy mm. is, we don't know where the hell he at, but he end up, the, the Flynn, the other Flynn brother shows up and he ended up putting two bullets in the window and told him to get the buck out. But this dude was getting ready to go and get a drop. A whole lot was happening in this scene. <laughs> it was a lot. Uh, so Tommy shook him down. They went in. And when they got in, it was another black dude, which was the bro brother. Yeah, Dominic's brother that picked him the up CBI. from CBI. Right, from CBI. So it was these two dudes in there asking for their money. But they were tweaking out. Yeah. But and I was like, wait a minute, do they do this? Is this a setup? Yeah, like these are two crackheads. These dudes just asking for this money. And it, so Tommy figured out that this was their first deal. <laughs> Tommy said, this your first, this is not my first deal. This and, first, Tommy said, did you even test the product? Did you make sure that this wasn't cut with this? He was like, what is that? Like, I'm like, I don't know what this. I don't, he said, first drop. And he called out the, the, the Flynn brother that he came in there short. <laughs> so yep. basically he came in there with not enough money to even pay for the product. And we know that's a no-no. Yeah. So... The other dude, um, Diamond's brother, was like, you come in here short? So Tommy ended up... Jannard, that's his name. <laughs> yeah, Jannard. Tommy ended up killing those two dudes, made the Flynn brother give him money, and he got and the drugs. took the coat. <laughs> and left a bottle there like a boss. <laughs> then gave the um, Flynn brother his, his bullet back. Talking about something. There's one more in it. There you go. There you go. And so we see that Diamond's brother actually takes him to a barber shop. And he's familiar with the barber shop because uh, he talks like they grew up there going, getting cutting their hair, hair and cutting their hair. Or maybe it was a family business at some point. Don't really know yet. Uh, and at this point, we found out that Diamond been in prison for 15 years <laughs> at this point. And he's so, the, he was the head of CBI, CBI. before yep. he went in. So I said, oh, okay, this makes sense now. So Diamond was like, you know, appreciate you, bro, keeping the rent up on this place. He was like, rent? He was like, I own this place. He was like, you own this place? He's like, like, nah, no. I don't own this place. You you own this place. It's like, what? Said, business license is up. Taxes paid yep. up. Turnkey business, dude. All you got to do. Like, I was like, that's all right. Good looking out. Yeah, it is. I said that that's how you bless somebody when they come home. That's right. But I feel like there's going to be a major problem because Diamond told his brother, hey, I'm not that same dude that I was 15 years ago. I'm different. No more I, I ain't trying to kill no more folk. <laughs> I said, oh. But looking at the brother's ear, I said, what the hell's going on with the ear? Yeah, what happened to you? It but seemed like he ready to kill. 
So the brother, you can tell the brother had an attitude like, you know, you a free man. You can do whatever the fuck you want. But I got to run and I, I will be back tonight to get you and take you out to show you what you've been missing. So when the brother left, this other black dude come in there. So I'm like, yeah, real suspect. this is a nice place. He was like, yeah. oh, we're not open yet. And, but I was like, wait a minute. I said, I hope the brother ain't to turn around and set him up that quick. Nah. So the dude came and sat down in the chair and he was talking on his phone to somebody. But we come to find out, we see he had a badge. So he's, he, he's in the force. He police. So I don't know what his angle is going to be. But he sure is let Diamond know that I yeah. know who you are. And yeah. my, I got my eye on you. And I'll be back in a couple of days to get a cut. And because Don was trying to give him a cut, he, he was like, "Nah, I pay for my own way." <laughs> I said, mm, "Watch him." Yeah, watch him. So I got a feeling that this dude is gonna be watching Diamond and his brother like a hawk. But we know we can already tell his brother is in the game, or his so, brother's already. But, is he the Ramirez? No. Oh. Mm. But however, we know that he paid for all that stuff for the barber shop with drug money. Yeah. So I got a feeling that that's going to come back to bite them. I do too. Yeah, so we'll see. All right, I, we see now Tommy is back at the nursing home. So I guess yeah. this time he's going to attempt to go and talk to what we know now is his grandma. Mm -hmm. So he goes in there and starts talking to her, and she's not responding. And then she responded like, Tommy? And then she went, she went back in. So we can tell that she has, she has dementia. dementia. So Tommy leaves, and we could see that somebody yeah. was like checking him out. And we I asked it was Gernard from CBI. Yeah, yeah, because they had been because they had was the moment they was walking down the street before they went to the barber shop and he was like, Can Bobby. you tell me about this dude, this white dude again? Like, How he end up shaking y'all down like that? <laughs> like just Casper, like yeah. he disappeared. He said, well, we need to find this Casper. So we see so we thought it was him, but it was another dude <laughs> come behind him with a gun and Tommy ended up putting the gun out on him and come to find out that this dude it's freaking Tommy's brother. Because the black dude was like, how do you know such and such? And she was like, I'm 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 her, I'm um, I'm her grandson grandson. And he was like, I'm I'm her grandson. I'm the only grandson. And I'm sitting here like, wait a minute now, Powell. This was so unnecessary. <laughs> so and so so we've been hollering about Tommy and Ghost being real, real brothers. brothers. Because they grew up like this, but now he really does have a black brother. Like, for real. Like, <laughs> So this dude was raised by his father. Yeah. And was told that Kate was dead. Well, yeah. Catherine is dead. Was dead. And, <laughs> and Tommy was like, baby, you 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 dodged the law. Yeah, 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 yeah. You better be glad you didn't get that deal. You got the better deal. <laughs> so now they sitting outside of the car, right? Funny as hell. Tommy was like, listen, we got a lot to unpack and wrap our minds around. So here, take this J. Homeboy was like, like no, nah, that's my, my throat. <laughs> Tommy said, your, your boy said, you get no deeper. It's not, I don't think it's going to get any deeper. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but he was like, come again now. So it was a lot. And I was like, but why? Why are we here? But while we here, I think this his brother is coming back. He's like, I got a feeling that Tommy and his team. brother. Yeah, we're going to tag team. Because Tommy always wanted to run his own organization, but Ghost would never let him do it. Yeah. Because Tommy, in our opinion, back then Tommy wasn't smart enough, and we still he's don't know still he's not. smart enough because he's yeah, he's still bullheaded. Yeah, he's not strategic like Ghost was. Right. So they end up exchanging numbers, and Tommy say, you know, <laughs> you know, I guess I'll call you so we can, you know, once we wrap our head around <laughs> all this, this skit. <laughs> it was weird. It's almost like so. I guess at this point we call each other, see how each other's doing, like yeah, I, compare stories. I guess. <laughs> He's like, well, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Funny as hell. Now, Tommy is at the gas pump. He's pumping gas. He leaves. He's driving down well, the road. Before he ended up from the gas station, he ended up throwing his brother's um, phone yeah, number away. In, in the trash. I was like, Tommy, why you do that? Because he had a moment where, bump this. I yeah. ain't got no brother. Then he thought about it. He was like, then he was like, the Grinch. He, like the Grinch. He grew hard again. <laughs> He's like, let me go and get this number. I was like, for real. Like, you got a brother. Yeah, that you, you just, just found, randomly just found in Chicago. Yeah, get that number out that get trash Get that number. Can. So he's driving along, and these trucks come and pull up beside him. And we already knew that it was the Flynn uh, folks coming. So they end up getting him out the car. He driving to their house. And uh, he gets there. And basically the father comes out and tells him that basically you need to leave. 
That's my boy from I'm All About the Benjamins. Uh-huh. Put your dumb hands up there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Same. That must be his accent for real. Cause he, yeah, he got it right now. Yep. So Tommy was like, uh, did you do all of this so you can thank me for saving, saving your, your son's, son's life? life? Well, thank you. And so Tommy proceeds to leave. And the guy was telling him, no, you need, you need to leave. Yeah. He said, one thing about the hands on the clock. Yeah. They're going to run out. You're going to run out of time or money. But eventually, you're going to do both. So, Get out. Tommy end up throwing the drugs back at, at the, I guess this is the father. And the son was coming in, and the father ended up kicking the bag of drugs back to, uh, what you call to it? The to the son. Tommy is back in the car, and all episode, um, whoever he was supposed to be meeting in L.A. was like, you were supposed to be here yesterday. So he ended up getting back on the phone with this dude and saying, you know what? I don't work for nobody. I don't work for nobody. I want to be my own boss. I'm staying here in Chicago and, and spit the car around. I'm going to be my own boss. I said, so real, for real time. <laughs> so we just... But Let we the seen games it begin. But we said with Power Force, we wanted to see Tommy run his own organization. I want to actually see if he really can do it. Because he think he oh, can do it. yeah. But... I got a feeling what's going to end up happening is he's going to do it with his brother. But his brother is going to be the brains. And Tommy is going to be the muscle. Yeah. Yes, yes, and yeah. yes. Yeah. But yeah, I'm looking forward to Tommy. Although this was a slower episode, of course. We had to build and build the characters and yeah. figure out who's going to be what. But Gloria? Yeah, Gloria yeah. Gloria's going to be the link for a lot of trouble. Till <laughs> next time, y'all. Straight, straight from, from the VA. Dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two down. Holla! Boo!